Alrighty, well, good morning, everybody, and time, for, and, excuse me, and cast time once again, and, um, it's 2 a.m. right now, so I figured since I think I have my cast all set up the way I want it to and stuff, I figured I might as well do it now, um, but, um, but, yeah, I'm doing it now because I have internet, um, same thing yesterday, too, um, y yesterday I figured, uh, they're gonna shut down my internet at midnight, oh, 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 let me stop. Let me stop. Um, the music, if for no other reason than just looking at the cover here, looks like a, like a, like a corpse-painted girl holding a baby by the side of the neck. Seems like an interesting photo. Um, I thought I'd go ahead and play this. This is Endoki Forest, an evil of Nordic Frost, uh, 1995 old school dungeon synth. I've only heard a little tiny bit of this, so I, I haven't heard, I haven't heard this entire album or anything. Like I said, just a little bit of it, so I just said close enough. Like uh, it didn't have a, like it didn't have, it didn't have, you know, it didn't have regular drums and, you know, or it didn't, it didn't sound too distracting. I guess is the word I'm looking for. So, but anyway, here goes. Oh, and I did forget the sound chest. Sound check this. So, so stupid me. All right, I'm gonna. All right. Okay, I. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and say close enough on that. So let me go ahead and rewind it back to the beginning. Okay. Oh, and also, I'm gonna have me a can of V8 Energy, orange pineapple flavored. So yeah, and like I like I said yesterday, um, I got lucky. Originally, I was originally I was planning on phasing these drinks out because of how expensive they are. But at the time I said it, the only the only grocery store in town that consistently had them is also the most expensive. So they're pretty much cost prohibitive. But like I said, they're the only place that has what I want. Uh, but recently, Walmart has carried probably at least one. Has at least Walmart has probably carried at least one of those flavors. Um, I bought a, I bought like two six packs, like yesterday, and they're they're pretty much the cheapest, so I got lucky. So looks like I'll be drinking more of them. Um, but otherwise, yesterday's stream uh, was kind of an interesting one. Just uh, play some gems of war for a little while. And, um, I did okay. Um, I think, uh, I don't even remember what I did yesterday. I think I did a little bit of the quest line. Or, I did a, I think I did a few quests. Um, no, no, what, what, let me back up. I did, a, I did, like, a, a daily adventure, which consists of just making you do, like, random tasks, and then, and then giving you some kind of reward after each one. Um, I also ran a, Ran a daily dungeon where, whereas uh, in this game here, it's basically boss, basically a boss rush. I think it's like a uh, three big bad boss, yeah, three big bad bosses that you have to do, that you have to kill, and you get a big reward at the end. There is also a, that was a dungeon. There's a, I'm trying to remember the name of it, but I think there were uh, two different types of boss rushes. One is a dungeon. I'm trying to remember what the other one. I think the other one was just act actually part of adventure mode. Like it's a, it's a daily adventure. Again, it's a three big bad bosses that you have to kill. So, um, and after that, um, I went and did some PvP, but I think I kind of have the, but it, the PvP wasn't really going so good. 
Uh, just getting some bad drops, making stupid mistakes, that kind of thing. You just, you know, just the, the kind of the, the kind of thing that goes on when playing pinball. Which, which now that I think about it, what's I up? But after after losing a bunch of matches in PvP, I just went ahead, and broke off, and I figured figured I might as well just go ahead and do a pinball stream while I'm there, since you know I try to do one on. Tuesday night slash Wednesday morning. So I figured since since I was there, um, some of my viewers were there, some of my regulars were there. I figured I might as well get one going, you know, right then and there. Although I think more would have shown up, more would have actually shown up had I have remembered to click the confirm button on my uh, on my Twitch description after putting all the new in transitioning all the new information, you know, and all that. I forgot to click confirm, so. There were probably uh, people going into the Gems of War Room. And, yeah, into the Gems of War Room and looking at my channel like, Why is he playing pinball in the Gems of War Room? He must be a stupid streamer. Whoa, hey, is that Ninja? Ninja plays Gems of War, man. Let's go check him out. You know, and off they go. So, But really, as far as the pinball session goes, it didn't go too bad. Um... Uh, at least as far as uh, Pinball FX3, I I did all right. I, I basically I only spent like maybe a half hour, 45 minutes in each game. Uh, FX3, I was in there about half hour, 45 minutes. Um, like I said, I did okay. Um, Pinball Arcade, um, same thing, half hour, 45 minutes. No, no, I just now that I think about it, I think uh, I think I aborted. Like somewhere before 30 minutes, because uh, with the exception of Ghostbusters, that table I actually did all right on. Um, I was pretty much ass the rest of the session. I it just I basically had the aim of a stormtrooper, couldn't hit anything. Um, but yeah, it. But yeah, it just so yeah, I ended up abandoning pinball arcade. So probably at or before the 30 minute mark um Zachariah or Zachariah I'll just call it Zachariah it's just it's just one of the most comfortable saying it um but that didn't really do much I think I was only on end about 15 minutes or so it the, the tables in Zachariah unlike FX3 and Arcade are legitimately hard like the tables themselves are tough so it ain't like it ain't like FX3 or Arcade where, where you can, I guess, the word I'm looking for, I think, is open. The play field is more open. You have more stuff to work with. Um, you know, the, just, I want to say, uh, things on the, things on the tables in those games are easier to read than, than, uh, Zachariah. Whereas, um, uh, like I said, um, but I should also mention too that Zachariah is a company that's based in Italy. So all those tables that you find in there, you ain't gonna find in America or pretty much any other place for that matter. So so all the tables in Zachariah are endemic to Italy. Like, I don't think you'll find them anywhere else. So that's that's one of the reasons why the tables are so hard. It's just I'm totally unfamiliar with them. I've never seen them before in my life, like until now. So, I'm basically fighting a war on somebody else's turf, for all the sense that makes. But, but yeah, but like, like I said, I only lasted about 15 minutes on there. Um, uh, figured, I figured, um, uh, since I had other, I had other stuff I had to get taken care of tonight, this cast being one of them, uh, I figured might as well just, you know, break, might as well just, might as well just quit while I'm ahead. But like like I said, overall the session went all right. So I I if I was feeling optimistic, I'd say it was above average. But um, hang on, there's there's a certain way I want to say this. But for those that actually did see me uh, stream pinball yesterday, um. The few that probably did, again, 
I forgot to confirm the changes on my uh, my Twitch descriptions, you know, what game I'm playing and what my stream is about, etc. I forgot to click confirm. So so there probably wasn't gonna be a whole there probably wasn't a whole lot of people that checked me out. Um the few that did, yes, I I can get pretty uh I can get pretty ragey, I can get pretty mad. Um you'll often hear me say, fuck all a lot. That's short for fucked over. It was a when I was living with my brother-in-law and sister in Oklahoma, um, my brother-in-law's boss, I think he he worked for a guy who sold vacuum cleaners, but uh, his boss would often say it a lot, yeah, I got fuckled on the deal. Yeah, he tried to fuck me out of a hundred bucks, you know, that kind of thing. You know, again, short for fucked over. I just, I thought it was just, a, I thought it was such a cool word that I just started using it. But uh, it didn't act, it didn't actually trigger until I started playing a game called Darkest Dungeon. My all-time favorite RPG, but uh, I think it was probably I probably some attack that had a 90-95% chance of hitting, but ended up missing, and then just all of a sudden, fuck all, you know. But but yeah, like like I said, I do tend to get I do tend to get a little mad mad when playing. I mean, it's it's pinball, so just but uh, part of that too. To though, I'm sure there's, I'm sure, over the years that I've been streaming pinball, and me getting frustrated, I'm sure there's probably people out there that say, "But Joe, Joe, you're great at pinball, man. You're a pinball wizard." It's, it's, the rage is because of my skill. I mean, I, for the most part, I know the basics, you know, the flipper basics and what you're supposed to do and what not to do, etc. The problem is, is, is one. I think Mike Tyson said it something like, "Like everybody got a everybody got a plan until they get punched in the head." And I think he might have also said something like, "Like everybody gangster until they get the ass kicked," or something like that. But that's basically me when it comes to pinball. I mean, yeah, I have a plan. You know, I have to make this shot, shit, this shot. I have to aim here, there. You know, I gotta, you know, you know, I basically know the mechanics of what I'm supposed to do. But it's like Mike Tyson said, everybody's got a plan until they get punched in the face. That's pretty, you know, so, you know, so whenever I make a mistake or when the ball doesn't do what I want it to, yeah, that's the equivalent of me getting punched in the face. So, you know, things turn south. So, but again, it's, the, the range is because of my playing skill, you know, because you know, I'm, I'm, you know, if I'm doing everything I'm supposed to be doing at that, at that moment, but the plans, you know, things still fall apart. I mean, that's frustrating. You know, now when I first started streaming pinball and back when I was playing pinball in real life, when I was a little kid, I didn't care. You know, I just wanted to bat the ball around because I just, I mean, I love pinball ever since I first saw it, you know, back, again, back probably in the, I can't remember the very first table I ever saw, but it was probably the late 70s. It was, you know, it was probably back then when I first fell in love with it. So back then, I didn't know the rules. I didn't know, you know, I didn't know how how physics worked, or I guess how pinball physics worked. You know, I didn't know how scoring worked and all that and all the fundamentals. I mean, it was, it was just fun. I just you know, la, 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 you know, just batting the ball around, you know, just, just hitting the ball anywhere, so, if back then, it was just plain fun, but now, um, I'm at a point where, you know, every shot has to have a purpose with me, um, but, uh, let me, let me back up a moment, um, but, uh, back when I first started streaming pinball, I'd probably say roughly five years ago, um, it was the same thing, I was just, Hitting the ball just to hit the ball, just aiming, you know, aiming for stuff at random. But now I'm I'm to wear that off. I have to have a reason behind all the shots I make. So it, it's you know, and there's something else I was wanting to say, but I forgot. But you you kind of you kind of get the idea though. You know, it's it just. 
you know, again, when when all your best laid plans go to waste, I mean, yeah, that's super frustrating. You know, so so, but like 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 I said, to those that have never seen me stream pinball before, and might have been put off by me raging, it's I'm not a ragey person by nature. In real life, I'm usually I'm usually pretty quiet. I don't get there's very little, especially these days, that pisses, that really pisses me off, like, generally puts me in rage mode. It's only when I play pinball that it triggers this. So. Oops. Okay, but anyway. Oops. Already screwing up, and I thought I was totally prepared, but apparently not. Um, anyway, um, for the behind the scenes part, um, I think I figured out a few days ago why OBS was hanging when I tried to stop the recording. Is, um, I must have had, uh, one of these Gems of War videos still running in the background. Um, one thing I, one thing I, I did is if you could look where the red arrow is. Whatever, um, whatever. Try to insert a insert a media source, aka video. I have to make sure that close file when inactive is checkmarked. What that's gonna do is, um. Oh, and uh, when I have the in the in the picture here, it shows that uh, it's actually turned on. But when uh, when you when you turn it off, yeah, when you turn it off, it closes the file. So. If I have any kind of video going, I have to make sure that the source is turned off and this uh, check spot, the the box is checked. Because I think what happened, what's happening is, it's uh, it because then technically it's still running, the video is still running and looping and going and all that, and uh, so OBS doesn't really know what to do, so that's why it hangs, and and um. Once I've made this mistake, I can't go back on it. I don't know, I've, already, I've already tested this out a few times, and this this is the conclusion I came to. So, so yeah, um, just double checking. But yeah, I have it. I did I did turn it off. So, like I said, I wanted to confirm it. But uh, also because of that, um, in case you hadn't noticed. Also, as a result of this, of what I learned here, every single one of my scenes, and if you don't know what that is, if you look um, towards the lower left corner of my OBS program here, where it says scenes, which are basically sections of my video, but now every one of my scenes, I have to have the uh, background music thumbnail in the background. Just, um, it's kind of like the first coat of paint. Like if you're gonna put multiple coats of paint on a house, for example, that first coat is like your base coat. Or, or let me let me let me rephrase that. It, it it's actually the primer. So yeah, my my uh, background music thumbnail is the primer. So I have to have this in all my sources now. Otherwise, you you'd get a black screen. It just wouldn't look right. So so. I now have to have this at the bottom of all my scenes, so. But, uh, it looks, this looks kind of tacky. So I'll go ahead and shut that off. It just looks better like this. But anyway, you kind of get the general idea. So this way, so if I have to turn, so when I, when I turn the uh, video source off, you're not seeing just a blank, a blank black screen. At least you're seeing something else underneath it. So. But otherwise, um, otherwise that's gonna, otherwise, um, let me, otherwise, um, that's gonna do it. Um, so, uh, I've said all the things that I wanted to say, and um, 
and today, today's cast will be my last cast for the week. Yeah, I'm messing up there. But it, so my, uh, my work week has started up. Uh, it's going to be Wednesday night, Thursday night, and Friday night. So, you know, going to be another fun-filled, back-breaking week. So, but in other words, you're, um, you're not going to be, you're not going to be seeing me again until, or let me rephrase that. You won't be seeing another cast until probably Sunday morning. And this also assumes that I don't, that I don't call in at some point. So, let's hope not because I can't afford to have a smaller paycheck. So, but otherwise, hey, thanks for, um, thanks for tuning in or Thanks for tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. And once again, um, my work week has started, so you won't be seeing me again until Sunday morning. So, but until then, thanks again for coming around, everyone, and see you all. And <laughs> thanks for coming around, and see you all next time. Take care. <laughs>